Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is a brand new series on the channel Angular 17 full tutorial series. This is part one of the series. Today I will touch base on the list of new features that Angular 17 has to offer. Think of Angular 17 as a brand new framework itself as there are a lot of changes which are really different from Angular 16 or so far what we have learned in Angular. It's a kind of a approach it like a new framework and I will try and cover all the aspects that are new plus what are being continued from the previous version. Let's get started. This is the first very episode on Angular 17. So what are what are the new things that are launched as part of Angular 17? As part of Angular 17, there is a new brand identity, which is the new logo. There is a new website, which has a lot more documentation. There's a lot more examples and there is also a playground where you can try your code, test your code in real time. Also, the way we used to write template controls, ngif for switch, right? We used to write it with asterisk. Now there is at the rate if condition. The template will now look much more elegant, much more simpler with much more control that we can write. There is also a perfect decorator called at the rate defer for lazy loading, which is extremely cru cru crucial, especially when you're working with the large component sets, which needs to load dynamically. Again, as support for material UI, there is absolutely superb faster performance, which means a lot of our Angular applications will run extremely fast. There are a lot of input transformations, which means it's easy for us to do validations, error messaging, form validations, inputs, and much more. All of this are part of the Angular 17. Like I said, there is a new brand logo and website. The new logo is in front of you and the new website instead of going to angular.io now we will go to https colon slash slash angular.dev if you look at the application website itself it's fresh there are a lot many documentation lot of tutorials there's a playground that we can try and test our code it's pretty fast you can always test your thing and see the output instantly so if you are stuck somewhere and want to see how this works, all you need to do is edit your code and see the output right away. Now, there are a lot, like I said, there are a lot of more tutorials. You can do it in your local, how to start. There are, will be more, I'm sure. This is just the starting. That being said, if you look at the documentation, it's continued from Angular 16, but also now includes a ecosystem, which is a lot other things included in this particular documentation that's amazing now i talked a little bit about the template control features already now you can take a look that it's much easy to write the if else statement right inside the template earlier we used to write asterisk ngif then template load else etc which again was using content projection but now it's much simpler, much easier to write the if else condition like a regular programming language. We also have um, support for ng switch for with the new template controls using at the rate. So I will cover this as we progress in the series, but you should know these are some of the major changes that are coming in Angular 17. I talked about the deferred loading, one of the most common feature is to load content only when certain activity or an event happens. That's what is being introduced called deferred loading. You can now set the conditions as to when certain content should load on hover, on idle, what should happen on immediate, on a certain viewport, what should happen when loading fails, etc, etc. One of, I would say this is one of the most powerful additions, especially when you work in enterprise applications. These are the common use cases that we run into. I talked about performance. It's up to 2.5x times faster when compiled with material design, which is a drastic improvement, I would say, uh, with respect to performance. I spoke about the input transforms. Earlier, when we used to pass data, we have to explicitly write uh, the values. But now, at, it has been simplified that we can just pass Boolean values. When you pass a value, it will be true. If you don't pass a value, it's set to false. 
right much cleaner much simpler approach towards uh, passing data to our input all right so those are some of the groundbreaking um, changes in angular 17 but we will approach this particular series with a fresh mindset with fresh uh, examples with fresh project that we will do and i am looking at somewhere around 50 to 60 tutorials in this series as well uh, covering everything about angular 17 in detail please do hit that like button for me if you like my videos and my work also if you want to buy me a coffee you can go at buymeacoffee.com slash art tutorials thank you so much join me in the next episode we will kick off angular 17 with the introduction and then we will learn about how to upgrade and so on and so forth this will be one amazing ride i look forward for it thank you so much for joining see you in the next episode